welcome back. So sorry if you were waiting for me there. I was, uh, was just streaming some Dark Souls 2, and then I said, let's switch over to Batman, and then it was about 20 minutes because I had a bunch of updates to download. So my apologies. We are beginning Batman, the Telltale series. We had previously gone through uh, The Walking Dead, Season 1, with our dearest Lee and Clementine. And that's sort of a prerequisite uh, to open up the Telltale catalog, in my opinion. You, you should finish Walking Dead Season 1 first and have it under your belt, and then the entire world of Telltale is open to you at that point. So I thought it would be fun to jump to one of their more recent entries, the Batman series. So uh, things might look a little bit... Oh, I don't know the word. Smoother? Uh, then you remember in The Walking Dead Season 1, the engine has gone through some upgrades, etc., etc. So this is a bit more of a smooth cinematic experience. And I am looking forward to playing it again. I was very, very impressed with it the first time through. And there is a second season as well, I believe, called The Enemy Within. So if we enjoy ourselves here, we will have places to go. But I'll stop rambling now. Let's get Batman into it. See if I can figure out if I have an old saved game I need to remove. Or what the scoop is exactly. Oh, now it seems to be sinking my data. After all those updates, I'm not surprised. I'll wait. No, you take your time, Batman. Maybe not quite this much, but... <laughs> there we go. Stuck on 99% for a while there. This is a thrilling opening sequence really sets up the high-stakes world of Gotham with this white loading screen where nothing is happening. Something's happening. It's getting dark. It's getting dark just like Gotham. Okay. Very, very important choice. Uh, who, uh, who cares where you save it? I, I don't. I don't think I do at the moment, but thank you. I'll just save it locally, like a normal person. That's interesting. They did come out with something recently called the Shadows Edition, which I think makes everything but, like, the, the primary character color of whoever's on screen grayscale. So it's like a Batman Noir sort of experience. Which would be very, very cool, but I think we're just going to go for the, the classic. I don't know if I even have access to that Shadows Edition. It's like a $4.99 add-on thing. Okay, so yes, I do want to restart Episode 1. I don't want any anything hanging on from an older game. I hope this will do that. It sounds like it will. So now, finally, we begin. And hopefully I can stay quiet while the intro sequence plays out, and then I'll be right back with you to make stupid comments. You know, as I do. Good morning and welcome.
I know, just as soon as I say something, it's gonna... Yeah, yeah. We open on Alfred taking a bath. Scrub, scrub here. Scrub, scrub there. Hey, what are you? Ah, oh, poor Pat Downey. Pat Downey. Oh my goodness, that's. A hilarious name for a security guard. I just now got it. He's feeling awfully pat downy today. Get it open. On it. Bet you weren't expecting ankle lasers. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. The under train. It does not go above the rails. It goes under the rails. Oh, Christ. Move in. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. All right. We're pressing buttons. And it was all this. just a bad dream. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Yeah, well, that's the point. Let them come. Huh? <laughs> Shit! The hell they go! Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Whatever got in, it's it's clearly Batman. Have you not read the news? Thank you, and ditto. Welcome back. Sorry it took me so long. What's that?
that down. It's not a toy. I know you're trying to create a myth. Alfred, why are you just poking me with a piece of glass? Monster. Oh no, you Sometimes took that out of Okay, good. You need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Fantastic entrance. You stay there. Didn't be a good boy. Teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Huh? Hey, Elevator door, my only weakness. I couldn't possibly have pried that open in less than a second Criminals and then use the grappling hook you? inside. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No I one do it for the raw thrill. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Oh, thank you. I get some good, uh, good angles on this footage. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Wait, wait, wait! 
Do not shoot! your pouch. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! <clears throat> That's just, no, that's not wait. the time. We had Pat Downey, and now we have rookie mistakes over here. Oh, that's not good. I'm coming. Hang on. I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave the struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and she escapes on the under train. Who could have seen this coming? Step out of the shadows. Scratches on my face. Be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then, time to save the city. Time to save whatever's rendering these shadows. Because clearly it needs the help. Also, I'm not saying the loading screens need work, necessarily, but I have seen a lot of this, uh, this dark void in my time here. My 18 minutes here have been primarily this dark void. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and Harvey greed Dent's been under Mayor up. Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, Are those shoulder we can pads, Harvey? Fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would. Sh well, there he is, fashionable and fashionably late as always. I was underwhelmed hey, hi, by the applause. If anyone's curious. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we get will some change classic dad Gotham. jokes out of the way. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, 
So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with Kinda potential is. donors. Yeah. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Oh, I'll try. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which for the record, Dent. I have shoulder pads for everyone. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, our hope is in Harvey? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. It's weird that both hmm? of you are just sitting around Come dreaming on. of a future where kids play in streets. The... I, I, I don't know what you're trying to play here. But it sounds like this is a ploy to kill the kids. <sighs> Rich folks, am I right? Always trying to get kids to play in the streets. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust that all the family. kids would play in. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just Especially me, you, not just Regina. Dent. So why don't you stop being such a right, lush right. and pick up a, a broom or something? Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, Look corruption at it. in city hall. With all these golden the chalices. Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I say side with your wife vague. on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for and a moment. And yet somehow never does. Don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was oh, thank terrible. you for putting it that bluntly. Truly terrible. Yeah, and callously. A tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that. Oh, only when people bring it up at parties. Man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes. Well, that. Was no, Regina. A long I don't like to think about I've maybes. Of course. Of course. Together, we'll help the whole city move on. And on that note, <laughs> not saying I doubted you, we are moving that on. That went better than expected. No goodbyes. It is a I think we set it up dramatically enough so that we could just walk away without saying anything. 
killed the tambourinist. Somebody get him. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. He's an invisible tambourinist. Know you. Can anyone... Vicky Vale. I... Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you I want. I believe the man the just said, tomorrow. no reporters allowed. Actually, I'm I... here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. Well, that is what Bruce we'll Wayne tomorrow, would say. Then. Mr. Wayne, you've... You've got something on your collar. Though that came off um, startlingly elitist. Is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this it's, uh, uh, it's, it's blood, just, uh, yeah. Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls Come on now, Mr. Falcone couldn't possibly in be involved in that Falcone crime course. syndicate. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him I don't here. Want him I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Harvey. Actually, you don't want him angry. He's leaving a trail of grease all the way to the hors d'oeuvres. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, okay. I've been in the market I'm gonna go over there and be really rude to him. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Somewhere where hey, I can lay I a tarp like down. This guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. I need no Come introduction. On, so You're in my living room. Thank you for living welcoming room. me into your home. Everyone's whispering. You're, uh, Is Bruce going to shake his hand? Bruce Wayne. Yes, he is. I know who you are. He's not going to cause a scene the in the middle of all of this. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me. Alfred's upset with me for the PR. And that's understandable. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill has... Hmm. You'll be fine out there, Hobbs. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays. I'll let with Harvey us. stay. A man's home is his castle. I Only because that. he doesn't like it. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you. Ah, what did I say? I want you to be as quiet as you were a second ago when your dialogue glitched out. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? You mean like punching criminals in the streets and I'd at night? I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people, I think, And is sitting Harvey right next to you. actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics. Now there's way. a face. Gives me a digestion. Are you? I got are you okay, this. Harvey? Are you constipated? So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. 
Be a pal. <laughs> I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from Here you go, buddy. Here's some chalk for you. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. It went this out with most me. jello desserts. And these are all my friends in Gotham. People realized it was a waste Businesses, of time. Restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For God... I see why... our city. I see why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Yeah. I'm just gonna let you look at how That's well it. chiseled my nose is. It's nice that we understand each other. If I were you, I'd stand a Master little Bruce, further away so people guests. don't I'll compare our physical appearance. I seeing them out. You wouldn't want to For your sake. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. He's made me doubt my father. And before the credits... Alright, Alfred, get the grease mop. We're gonna, gonna clean up the pool table. I hope there's going to be a mini-game sequence of me running around picking up people's trash as Alfred. Oh, oh, I say, oh, look at this. Ah, what a mess. Oh, no. Oh, goodness me. It's more some sort of Alfred-slash-C-3PO hybrid I'm, I'm trying for. I, I don't know why. Now I seem to be in a metal box. Perhaps an elevator down to my bat cave would make more sense. It's me. Oh, that's a little sad, Bruce. You just wanted to say it's me to someone who recognized you. So you programmed it into your computer. I see. So sorry, one second. My apologies. Stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With breaking and entry incidents of over 
50% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. I and just like to keep my parents' tonight. bloody Five tickets in a little case this evening after a break -in so that I never home. ever forget. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Ah, uh -huh. I'm finally in control. Unlimited power. Oh, really, just just the ability to walk and point this little crosshair is all the power I have. Nearly fell off a building for this? Data port. That's what I'm looking for. I have got to, got to find a place to put my data. Let's find out what was so important. Manor has seven I've never bedrooms, come across something like this before. A museum, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually That's go the, unnoticed. The absolute best yeah, outcome, They're yes. not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. I'm gonna try pressing a couple of these keys to de-encrypt it. De-decrypt it. Sorry, Alfred. Slip of the tongue. I'm gonna rotate this hologram. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Jokes, Alfred. Of it yet. At a time like jokes, I, ca I can't believe it. Decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. Yeah. Including Who would have thought Mr. it? Falcone. Regina. I would have been stuck at the to bar. Less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcon. Alfred is they always a delight. Stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Okay, checking the codex. Found her. And the information we have is that we wish we knew more about her. And that there are no leads. Okay. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news. Are you lately. trying to get me to frame As my Bruce bottom in tight Batman. pants, Alfred? Because I'm doing my best. 
I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for yes, anyone's Yes, from here on out. That'll now, be great, I don't Alfred. Mean to Thank beat you. A argument, but no one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. You're mixing your if metaphors, they Alfred. Your injuries. So did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. To be fair, both Miss Vale careful. and Mr. Dent have been looking very, very closely at me. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Ah, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however... You two were literally child literally thieves. You. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to only catch when up. Only you're in a Denny's. His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants I'll to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Ah, that's why they call him Oz. But I know you can't abandon a good man. Oswald to Cobblepot. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Time to see what saucy redesign they gave him after Danny DeVito had his stint. Is that you, Agent 47? Oh, no, wrong game. Where are you, Oz? He's just gonna casually walk down in a rolled sleeve dress shirt to the park where all the junkies hang out. Yeah, that sounds fair. My wallet just hanging half out of my back pocket bobbing along with every step. Do I have change? Uh, thank you, sir. Is Bruce Wayne the sort of person who just carries a handful of change like that? It seems like a continuity error. And we're going back down the steps. That was about as much of the real world as Bruce could handle. Call me a limousine, Alfred. I've seen it. I've seen it all. All right. May as well take advantage of the fact that I'm back out here to look at that sign and say nothing. If anyone comes by and asks you about this, tell them that I only ascended the stairs once. Thank you. I'll just pull out my cellular Great. telephone device here in the middle of the park. Well, there's the statue, but no Oz. Hello, Bruce Wayne here. Unarmed in the middle of the park. Not wearing any sort of body armor. Loosely dressed in a small shirt. Who is this? 
Oh, hello, the police. You're miles away and wouldn't be able to get here if there was any sort of incident? Well, thank you for informing me. Put your phone away, Bruce. This isn't the time. I didn't know the graffiti was all the way back here. Okay. I thought it was on the statue itself. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. That's not long enough to go through me. Hey, you heard him, man. No matter how hard you try. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry. I fellas. literally. I ha look at I've me. Where would I be keeping a watch, a wallet, or cash? And I just gave it to that guy. Gentlemen! Oz. Hey, Oswald. Keep walking, all right? This Good to see you, buddy. You, twerp. you see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're ah. holding the moment! Come here! Think that'll do? Can I get a little solar plexus action here? Stay down! Mmm, that's my favy. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. And he's dead. Mine. Oh, good. You hear that? He got up. <laughs> oh. Well, hey, hey Oz. You've got nice catching up with you. I'm gonna go take a shower. Yeah. Good as new. That was sweet of you. Thank you. Woo! That was a right little scrap. Really, go take a shower now. Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. The old shank and yank. What? Thanks, Oz. Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, he lives inside know, of me. Like this. I keep this him under multiple layers of adult awesome. skin and bones. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. When the kids yeah. could run in the Thought streets, freely, like playing in the streets, falling into potholes <sighs> in the middle of the streets. This city. Choose right Better days. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Arkham could I maybe could I lick a thumb and gently stroke you? Is is that uh, it's funny. You, you've got a little something something. Same place that ground my family to dust. And as you're getting increasingly more aggressive, I'm beginning to feel unsafe because of the blood. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. So was Made I. Made yourself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that guy. I see you saw the hors d'oeuvres table. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... But don't worry, we Maybe definitely didn't steal behavior. that from the Dark Knight. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. 
Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wade Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. Am I going okay. to you, Bruce? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Oh, I Which could tell from the lick. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. By rocks, do you mean infinity stones? Because I'd like to come along for that. Oh, Alfred, you're always interrupting my play dates. Ah, oh, I gotta go to a press conference at a hospital. I can't hang out with my friends. Ah. Oh. I hate you sometimes, Alfred. I don't mean that, Alfred. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that. It's just been a long day and I got mugged in the park. Okay. I'm okay now. Right here. Conference can begin. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Does anyone want to buy a Lamborghini? I'm done with that one. I'll get a new one tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars. Honestly. Oh, Harvey, you card. <laughs> Joking about cars. About oh, Arkham let's get Asylum. on to business. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man plan, here, plan brick we block ground Sorry. on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Uh, hi everyone. I, I need to go call Alfred. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero. Everyone in the mask. audience goes, ah, oh, this story again. Who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. He tells this at every press at conference. Night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Pulls out the bloody tickets. He's waving them around. Ah, this is sad, Bruce. We need the Bruce. kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility... See, I'm using the slogan. Harvey, mayor. get it? See? Wink? My hope Winky, is wink, in wink. Harvey. To make sure a night like that never happens again. We arranged this slogan at the party last night, you and I, remember? Do you remember the slogan, Harvey? Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, 
we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, because we it just looks super cool out there. Did you see it? Most. It's like a cathedral. All right, who's up next? Can I tear that down? Uh, you there, Mr. Wayne? Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You With a warm handshake. Hand. That's correct. I can't throw Harvey under the bus. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on That's topic, people. Probably gonna come back to haunt the hospital, well, remember? At least I was honest with myself. Oh, if Alfred needs me, but I, Mr. Wayne, I this have morning, to look at The Globe at received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. To this day, comment? you said? Ah. Uh... I don't uh, no comment, comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this? I mean, yeah, all my money's dirty. It's money. What do you? What kind of question is that? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? I I can't. Everyone, everyone, please. I can't answer down. these questions. I'll be fielding your questions. Gonna from need here a second. Out. Please, let's try to keep. I'll this go talk alive. to the GCPD. I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. They're snooping through your unmentionable, sir. I told them to start elsewhere, but they insisted on going right to the unmentionables drawer. They opened it, they've lifted out the unmentionables one by one, they've categorized them by color on your bed. It's horrible, sir. You have to get home. No, I'm coming, Alfred. I'm sorry. I should never have left. Apparently, I needed to stretch out that unmentionable speech a little longer to cover this this loading screen. I'm sorry. Next time. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't. Mr. Those are my unmentionables. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. No, that's you're that's generous. Just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. This isn't Gordon's fault, that's for sure. Rain with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant that covers your place, holster look Wayne, for Gordon. of residence. And any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, oh, he calls the shots. I, I so, don't know for sure that he's corrupt yet. I, I don't I'll know wait how for some evidence. ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Well, I... I... You know, I do have something to hide. It's 
I've tried to be helpful. Some people call it vigilantism. I... Is that the mayor hill you'll die on? Oh, ho, ho. These chat jokes. They're just flying at me. Is that the piece of glass that was in my back? Looks like the exact same shape of the piece of glass that was in my back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Three tickets. One for each of us. Because on each ticket Earth? it only says admit one. And I remember it like it I was yesterday. It's but... uh, yeah, fine. It's Saving me from a <sighs> post traumatic flashback, so office, please come in. Now Wayne Manor? <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. Some of us are... The Gazette received well, we're this slightly attracted to you. ...evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy I just want sources. to help. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Just let us help, Bruce. You're Obviously, so pretty. Obviously, the I... didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Once again, I have not uh, come to any conclusions about tonight, who exactly is behind this. this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters. Not wild speculation. That's just going to be used against me. I'm, I'm quite sure. If I say anything... You've got to help yourself out here, Mr. Wayne. Otherwise, people are going to fill in the blanks and it won't be in your favor. Just like my grandfather used to say, anything you say can and will be held You're against you. You're going to this, Bruce. The Waynes weird, always man. come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Wayne. strict. Hello, I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading Sneaking this way. Sneaking into the chat. I see how it is. Family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Why didn't Harvey make a corrupt call to me to tell me? against every oath he took as district attorney that I was about to be raided. It's almost like I can't trust him to break the law on my behalf. Cafe Sad Times. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. What's the first scene you're you're referencing Mayor there? Hill did did I make a scene? This? Yeah. Then the cops raid you seem my to house, be implying everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. 
God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that well, wouldn't yeah. be good for either it of us. It clearly would be. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. Oh, I didn't We're mean to, like, cut numbers. him out, but I'll do I was just saying, I yeah, that's help. fine. There you are. You, you stay in your position you? and don't compromise Sorry. yourself. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Huh. I remember punching Catwoman in that eye a couple of times. And I still see the little scritchy scratches near you my lips. You tell me you're bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I'm sure this means nothing. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. We haven't so met ever are. before. Hello, Pleasure for the first you, time. Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Lasting Don't a little worry. long, too. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. sorry. Uh huh. Selena's new to town. She's directly I've referenced when her, her life was in danger just just people. last night. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Meet anyone? Hey, have you seen Batman? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. <laughs> but if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. My I hope not. His reading of that These are important so materials. Ooh, oh, that's terrible. Sensitive. Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. It could have been worse. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. Kindergarten teacher, or...? High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market. Neurosurgeon, or...? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. <laughs> well, he, he pulled out his phone as if to check something. And he's like, oh, what's this? Excuse me. Like, oh, that was clearly an ex just a, a bad cover. Maybe he just has it on a weird vibrational pattern, and it startled him. Nice to meet the real you. Isn't it, though? Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. Oh, I appreciate I'm that. I'm curious about something, though. It is a chilly I day. I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I, have I already to told you it's the raw sexual thrill of fighting the, the bad guys. I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. I told you last I night. I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. Starting to feel like no one How listens. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. 
It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't must know. Must be like a map of the you docks, know, maybe? I don't know. I didn't decrypt it. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. Or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off- Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. It seems we're at an impasse here. I, I don't, I don't. Please, give me I want to force address. your hand here. Oh, he says Let me be gentle. when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. Yeah, you gave us just I enough time to working. talk about something important. We're gonna straighten everything Thank you. out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. I've got to go Stay see a man drink? about a quote-unquote <laughs> hard to, drive. I've got another appointment, and I really don't want to be late for it. You two kids have fun. Oh, all right, then. Don't forget to change into your suit. You mean the bat suit? Ah, she caught me out. Darn it. Now Harvey knows. All right, Alfred. Bring me my bat nibbles. We have places to be. No, not the hovering bat nibbles. The normal kind. Alfred, what are you on about? No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. It's quiet, and I am about Stay 50 gone. minutes late. Because I had to change. And you know how long that takes. Collection going in here. Mm. Okay. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. This guy's just got... It's just entrails left. There's nothing but entrails. Where's the rest of him? Analyzing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, is it gonna... Is it gonna... Cover. Hello, hello, hello. Perhaps. <laughs> so sorry. Coming back online now. Good old glitch. 
caught us right in the back, twisting the knife. Let's hope it had uh, some save around there somewhere, perhaps when I hurt my ankles. We'll get right back into it. So sorry. just when it was getting exciting with my glowy little fingertip sensors. Not the time for a dramatic cliffhanger. <laughs> Why do all of my games involve leg-shattering jumps? Why do you hate your leg bones? Oh, me and my leg bones. They know what they did. Okay, classic edition, episode one, continue, that's the stuff. So sorry for the, uh, the brief sandwich break here. I hope you were able to whip yourself up a PB&J. That's what these sandwich breaks are for. I'm at the warehouse. We're back. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Right where we left off. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. So this big entrail-filled reveal is going to hit a little less hard the second time, but, but bear with me. seen anything like this, this before, except for 14 seconds ago. Massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Give me just one second before we try this again. I'll be right back. Okay, back on tummy time, and here we go. Don't fail me now. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bear. No, let's get a peek at this, yeah. Well, yeah, that's not technically true. I mean, when you say nothing left to bury, that implies there isn't a small pile of entrails. And, well, what I'm seeing. Could these be linked? Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. I am well, it laying on my stomach for gaming. I'll see if that's not TMI. Back. Okay. So the 
epicenter of the blast is there. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It had to have been a very volatile pudding. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. I absolutely am kicking my little feet every time there's a an action sequence. Ah. Oh, I sprained something. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Somebody's got some hot, hot bullets around here. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. At the circus! I mean, at City Hall. Oh, yeah. In my opinion, it doesn't get much better than lying on your stomach playing a video game for multiple hours on a Sunday morning. To sit up would seem disingenuous. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Oh, yikes. Like they did this. They headshot him with a hot, hot bullet. That is rough. I'm just gonna go digging around in here. You hold still. Uh, we'll find it. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Yes, what a way to put it, Alfred. Where did you go to school again? Wind. Broken nails. Investigator Academy, was it? Flesh. Yikes. I guess if you get shot in the head with a hot bullet, you might, uh, you might go digging. Uh, or maybe you might go digging at someone else. So, not natural causes then. I should stop wildly speculating until I have all the details. Skylight Club. Okay, so I'm gonna link the bloody hands to this guy's face. I think that makes sense. Shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Hmm. So a couple of things happened. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. All right, what else? I'm assuming the shrapnel piece will be linked to the explosion itself, perhaps? The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. I need to know what caused the explosion. A shot cop. It's this a is cop. the one that calls the, the shots. Force grows thinner every day. Oh, I thought we were in Star Wars for a second there. And he was sensing something, but then I remembered. No, it's Batman. 
Ah, another cop down. The force grows thinner every day. Okay, Yoda. this canister fragment, since they both have the same bullets, to this guy's head. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Scorched area. That's what I've been Something missing. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Used to be a van, if I had to guess. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. His snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive. That's when things turned grim. Cop yeah. Ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands and was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Time to reveal trace evidence of phosphorus. Both yes, targets yes. could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Oh, sorry. Let me catch up to the chat here. I think I missed something. One second. Hi. Conversation about why why dogs and uh, and some animals have that corn chip smell, like a frito sort of smell. Apparently, it's a combination of I'm going to mess this up, Pseudomonas and Proteus bacteria that make their way from the soil and water into the crevices of a dog's paws. It's not harmful, but it really does smell like Fritos. That is so good to know. I did not know there was a specific chemical element in making that up. I am very glad to know it. And yes, absolutely. That That is really all I am. A, a gamer and horror voice actor. I can't claim much more. I am very
very, very glad to have you guys along, teaching me, uh, Pseudomonas. Not a bad angle. No trace of phosphorus, though. Okay. Third time's the charm. My poor little phosphorus-detecting robot is beginning to feel quite abused. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. You did good. Now get back in my... I was gonna say pocket, but it looks more like back pouch, I guess. Get in my back pouch. <laughs> Killing time. A little echo this in the bunny man spot. reference there. So where did he go? Oh no, it probably wasn't. Trey stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Looks like it, it probably would have been easier to scan the entire warehouse for corpses rather than looking for phosphorus, but sure. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Cody. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. I will keep massaging your you throat gently him. if you don't tell me. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. I think he has a little thing in his neck he can turn on to disguise his voice. Give me a reason to stop. <laughs> his wind shifts weirdly sometimes. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Sometimes he Captain Kirk's himself. Swinging. <laughs> Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Malconi wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh, please don't! Oh, oh God, no! Oh. Yeah, that's a fun option. Okay. I start here, and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! You do not want, to want me to get to the leg know. bones. Falcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know! I swear, I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! It, it really swear. does seem like he's told me everything he knows. You're supposed to be a good guy! But I am gonna let him think I might. For just a oh. little too long. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the eh. to the docks. This isn't a good look for me, but I, I do trust Gordon and would like the chance. Hey! Freeze! I'm just gonna let him see me. Stand down, Montoya. No. Oh, thank God. He was about to kill me. You wanna tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting Your for? Your arm's not even good broken. To see you too, Gordon. You know each other? 
Falcone stole Let the alone ship killing Kansas. you. It appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. I'm not sure how Alfred jumped in to say that, but okay, good. I've been scolded. Thank you, Alfred. Keeping me on the straight and narrow. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I beat a barrel half to death. Come on. Were you even Your watching through my laser eyes? And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this... <laughs> preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, They seem Bruce. to be positioning good. that box like behind an awful lot of shots. Don't lose that. And I'm beginning to wonder, I don't mean to be much a like an old Brad Pitt subject, movie, but as a what friend, is in the box? The burden of advice falls on me. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Sometimes, during one of my 14 that daily night, stress panic away. attacks about it, where I, I relive every well, moment, I sometimes I wish that I could just head. move on. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores, or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I think it would be quite healthy for him, actually, to tear the tickets up if he's if he's emotionally at that stage. I don't want to tear the tickets up as a, ah, I'm throwing this in your face, Alfred, which is what it kind of sounds like. So while I do think he should tear up the tickets at this point, it's been decades, sir. I'm going to go ahead and keep Alfred I happy. Forget. Because will Alfred I. means a lot to me. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Legal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these I documents? I don't know what it is exactly, but this is my best so guess. Far, I don't. Wow. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against... Pat Falcone. Downey. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help I'm most. sure no one would question about or where the evidence came from. Eventually, it could not be traced back to you and your, your relationship with... Of the course, I'm going to trust Gordon. This war. 
Gordon needs this more than anyone. He has a shoulder holster. I can't resist that. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And that man by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends gimme, tonight. Gimme, 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 Batman after midnight. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Which now is beginning to seem like uh, laziness bordering on criminal neglect. If my goal was really to clean up this city and its various crime organizations that I have never once tried going after Carmine Falcone. And I've been doing this for several years. Finally took care of all those low-level B&E offenders. But the crime syndicate, nah, they're good. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think that railing is wide enough this for him to be sliding important documents so over to Gordon good. on. I'm a little nervous. Put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell. Because you're a national Everyone treasure, on the force Gordon. Will too. And you've earned my love and trust. Firepower for years. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming No, you're going to sit there is. and let me blow this smoke up your ass because you Thank mean a you. lot to me, Gordon. Honestly, knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby for once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I got to make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't going to change a thing. Oh yeah, I always forget he doesn't. He doesn't Wayne's know that I'm Batman the yet. <laughs> For some reason, I always so assume I like they're they're good. No they have an arrangement. Until we find nothing, though, I got to play bad cop. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me I'm trying to bribe you, Gordon. You're just the man for the job. Mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Hey, at that crime because scene, I don't suppose big like scorch mark entrails? No? We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Oh, thank you. That's the nicest thing you've, you've ever said to me. It's done. Good. We're about to walk so into a planter. The By the way... The located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind Why, of Why, I found a matchbook to that club. Well, I... Right there on one of the bodies. The it's all coming together. Oh, well, that is sexy. I thought we'd hit peak sexy at Oswald Cobblepot, but no. We haven't even begun to hit peak sexy. Oh, Gordon, can I snap into a slim you? I'm sure he's heard that line before. Ah, that's what all the boys say. You're trying to get on my good side. Oh, it was just a, a sexy moment of car transformation that you may have missed while cooking. No, nothing important. 
Not like a Geralt in high-waisted leather pants or anything. I'll let you know if it comes to that. I wouldn't let you miss such a thing. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Okay, then, Skyline Club. What do you got for me? Good point of entry. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? They pinched him for no. pinching a bus. I didn't think he was a hatchet Down at man. the docks. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Got a bit I above mean, himself, really. Trying to pinch a bus. Suppose you could spare about five pounds for the... Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a dig at City uh, Council. Are you guys hearing this? Ouch. Savage. He definitely deserves more of your time, Generous. lady. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Oh, that's my favorite. My favorite kind of attack when there's no time for subtlety. The White Rose. Falcone's symbol. The Red Rose after tonight. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Must be what I'm looking for. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Okay. So I need to take out these four guys in a sequence that makes sense. Slash pleases me. Since we're taking this guy down. We have an upper balcony takedown. Or we have a balcony railing takedown. I'm gonna go balcony railing. There you go. Just out of sight. That'll be lovely. All right, you, sir. We have a pillar, and we have staircase. It's got to be staircase. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. guy who's just chilling back here, making inappropriate advances towards that woman's thigh. I think it's, it's just going to be coffee table. Let's keep it simple. He's in a seated position already. I don't want to make him get up. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Hanging light. Modern art. Well, it's gotta be modern art. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's see where this gets us. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I have formulated it, yeah. Or whatever it is you just said. Going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. I'm 
gonna play his pool balls. I'm gonna make him shake my hand in front of all the guests. could kill a man. That was that was just dangerous. A bit of cubism there. Suggested, sir. Imagine if this is how I reacted when you crashed my party. Double standards. Oh, that feels good. I'm gonna enjoy the fact that that's stuck in there for a while. You can't sneak up on me. In the window. I, you know my lawyers. Oh. oh, yeah, this looks fun. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn. Kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Soak the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. I'll get you right at the hot dog. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. Doing the old oh, Falcone goodness. rooftop you dance. Think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it in a dead bat. Send out a blanket statement to games. the city Smoke of Gotham. Please. Stop Including trying you. to cut me with a pocket Those knife. Mine, all right? You need at least a good three, four inches. Come on. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, with that Gotham's watching You're going now. to tell me everything I want to know. And if you don't, I'm going to drop you Go down ahead. onto this tree Give level. Him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Rare appearance of Scottish Batman there. For the kids. For charity. For the kids. 
Spill it, Valkyrie. Now you enjoy Won't that you this stop? unflattering angle of the back of your trousers is going to be on every television no station from here to Metropolis. Get behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> It's true. That hurts Batman's feelings. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that uh, a little too much. A little more than I should have. Especially that cubism segment. We must be getting somewhere close to the end of this episode, but I can't recall. Be seen from street level. Tonight. The Skyline Club. I, I swear he dropped him. Downtown right down to street level. For a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50 story drop. Bet Falcone Sources say him. Batman made him Who look I like a fool in front, in front of his own men. Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. Yeah. The Wayne family. Every silver lining has to have a the cloud. When the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. And this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking Pictured hands, here like 15 Falcone, years ago for some reason. Just as crooked as his parents. Wayne even refused to go on record when asked to defend his family's legacy. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, I can't imagine what they would have said if I had chosen to defend my legacy. I think that was the right choice. Hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Oh, this is bad news for Alfred. Devoting my life as I have to the Waynes. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! I guess that is it. The big exciting conclusion. String up a mob boss and uh, find out that everything is true about your parents. It's all true. Only 14.6% of players chose a press blackout. I'm in the minority there. Ah, that's surprising. And, and good job, everybody. Good job for showing some restraint as Batman. Yeah. Pretty clear. Clear choice there. 
Oh, very, very impressed with everyone. Good job. All right, next time. Hit me with it. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. Everyone. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Anyone who stands in my way will also find the truth. It was worded a little strangely, but no, I, I get it. I get the point. Okay. That is fantastic. We are off on another adventure. And I will be back for episode two at the very next opportunity. And yes, absolutely. I see people sharing some, uh... Oh, sure. I see people sharing uh, Twitter handles and such. I will catch up. And I would be happy to follow you all sneakily through the bushes outside your uh, stately palatial manor homes. I'll be the one just uh, between the second hot tub and the bar. That's me. Those bushes. Thank you very much for coming along with me on a new adventure here. We will see what Batman and his friend Bruce Wayne get up to next time. Bye for now.